How much would you have paid for this? So I've got a thrift haul for you today. I went to Savers and I bought a bunch of stuff, mostly hard goods, things that are vintage toys, collectibles that I'm going to sell on eBay and Etsy for probably about $250 profit on all of it. Hi, my name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I am a thrifting, reselling, homeschooling mom that sells on eBay and Etsy things that I find from thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales to help support my family. If you're new here, I would like to welcome you. Please go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified and you'll be the first to know when I put out any new content about selling things online to make a profit. And make sure you watch the whole video because I need your help on a few items. I have researched until my fingers are blue and I cannot find information on two of my items. So if you can't help me, nobody can help me. So first, got my mug life. Where are my mug life peeps? Go down in the comments and say mug life so I know you're here. And if you haven't jumped on the mug life bandwagon, it's okay. You'll get there. Anyway. First mug I got is an Angry Bird Space mug. Um, I did buy it for a buck forty-nine. I only see two Angry Bird Space mugs up on eBay. One is being sold for twenty-nine ninety-nine, and this one, which is only being sold for about seven dollars, there are no solds. So I still feel pretty confident that I'm going to list this mug for about fifteen dollars. And because there's only one other one up there, I'm going to make sure I take really good pictures. Uh, I think I can get that. Because there's not a lot of solds, I, it might sit for a little while, and I'm okay with that. So next up, I have this really interesting key and ring. It says cell number this number. Um, and I got these in the bags. The bag section at Savers is huge, at mine anyway. I always have fun looking through them. I spent $3.99 on the bag for this, and then also a wax seal set like this. That's a Gartner brand. And I saw one of these up that had more keys and it had a lock with it that is um, up, I think it just sold for $81. And then there's another one on Worth Point. I don't have Worth Point, so I can't find out what it sold for. So I'm thinking, unless I find out better information, I'm probably going to list it for about $30. For $35. Now this wax seal set, it's got this P, L, um, but I think I'm going to probably list this for about $10 unless I let my kids play with it. They might enjoy that. Fire? Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, so probably list it for about 10 bucks. So the next item I got is also a mug. It is a Starbucks mug. I paid a buck fifty for it. And the thing with this mug is there are others with this same pattern. But the problem I'm having with deciding on what to price it at is that there are mugs that are more angular. They're not this big curve. They don't have as much volume um, for this pattern. I can't find this pattern in this size. The ones that I see that are up that are similar to this but a different shape are selling anywhere from between $10 and $20. So chances are likely that I will put this one up maybe towards the higher end because some people prefer a mug with more volume. So that's my plan for this Starbucks mug. So the next thing I found, I also got in the bag section for $3.99. It is a JMAR Japan pull train. Now this is a vintage toy. This is part of the train, but there are also these little ducks that they will follow along and as it goes, watch, the little heads go up and down, right? So there are three cars with the little ducks that follow behind the train. I, I don't have it all connected together for you. But I would make a video. And then as the train goes along, the little heads bob up and down as the train rolls. So the problem I'm having is I can't find this exact one. There is a train, but it just has a little conductor and it's a little bit longer. And that one is up for about $20. I feel like this one is more desirable because it has more working pieces. It's got ducks on it. The little heads bob up and down. It does have some damage and wear. But I think with age, that's just par for the course. I mean, if it's a toy that was actually played with, 
but for it to still be in this kind of condition, it's okay. So chances are likely, unless I find out better information, I'll probably list it in the $40 to $50 range. If you think I need to go higher, let me know because higher is always good. Yeah, they connect together like so. Then you would pull it. It's fairly long, as you can see, um, for the train. So yeah, probably about 40 or 50 bucks for the train. Maybe I should go higher because I can't find it, right? So my next item was something else I got in the bags, and it is a Sylvanian family, or calico critters is what we normally call them here, unless there's another name for them, and I'm just not looking them up right. Y'all, this little family, I thought they were foxes, or squirrels, or something else, and I did so many searches, and I even looked up Sylvanian families identification chart, um, unless they're knockoffs and they're not that actual brand, that guy's missing his eyeball. But what are they? I, I don't even know. Because they, the brand, Sylvanian Families, Calico Critters, they can sell for a fair profit. Um, so until I figure out what they are, I, I don't want to list them because I can't find them. So if you know, or you can point me in the right direction, and I can go find it. But like I said, I've looked on different websites. I tried putting in what I think they are. Got these little tails. And I just, I can't figure it out. So maybe you can help me. So I'm guessing, even though this little guy's got a broken eye and he's kind of, are his ear tips supposed to be like that? Or did somebody color them? Maybe. No, they're supposed to be like that. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. The parents' ones are like that, too. So, I don't know. Maybe $15, $20 until I figure out what they are. Maybe it'll go up or down. But that's my estimate. So, the next thing I got is this En Vogue apron. And it is really cute in the front. It looks like this. And then it's got all these lemons. It's very springy and pretty. And I will probably, spent $2.99 on it. I will probably ask about $15, $17 for this apron. Okay, here's this guy. I got this mask, even though he's got a little bit of damage right there. I don't think it's going to hurt the price too much. But this one is a J. Wolf Canada mask. And but I'm thinking that I'll probably list this for about $20, $25. Really, when I got it, I thought it was going to be more of a win. I spent $10 on it, which is a lot for me to spend, but I thought it was going to be something that was like a for sure win. Maybe I'll try to list it a little bit higher. I'll do a little more digging because I just did kind of a preliminary search and came up with about $25. But even still, a $10 profit I think is pretty good. So the next thing I got was also in the bag, a buck ninety-nine. And the reason I got this bag of random animals was because of this guy. So this is a goblin fish. It is a plastic toy goblin fish from Discovery Toys or Discovery.com. And the reason I got it was because he's unusual. I mean, how often do you see a goblin fish? And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're not a parent um, or I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> when your child gets really into something, when one of my kids was littler, um, they were really into sawfish. And so I was trying to find sawfish toys, plastic toys, whatever. And it was kind of challenging to find, you know, I did find some. So I looked up this goblin fish and there's one that sold for about $15. So this guy I'm going to list for about $15. Now the next thing I have not emptied the bag yet. So my guesstimate on the price is just that. It's a guess. I spent $4.99 for this bag of Littlest Pet Shop. It could be worth $10. It could be worth $100. It just depends on what I find inside. There is a maybe Cocker Spaniel here. Usually the cats and the dogs are the ones to really go for and then check their eyes and you have to look them up. But I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and get them, go through them, and figure out if there are any in here 
that are worth a lot. And I'm going to be sharing a little bit right here of some of the ones that have sold for a lot of money. So here are some Littlest Pet Shop, the Galaxy, they're purple or black, they're selling for about $48. There's even a white one there. They're sparkly. There is a Littlest Pet Shop Cocker Spaniel that sold for $64. Here's another one, a Dash Hound that sold for $179. And I have sold a Dash Hound before, or Dachshund, depending on how you like to say it. Uh, gosh, how much did I sell it for? It was like 60 bucks or something. It was crazy. It's been a long time ago. But I'm going to have to dig through these. Maybe I'll do a video of going through this bag and figuring out the value on these Littlest Pet Shop. And then worst case scenario, I just lot them up and try to sell the whole lot for maybe 15, 20 bucks. Okay, next item is this little framed picture. I thought it was Socrates when I got it. And then I realized, I don't think it's Socrates. So I'm not sure, because the sticker's kind of peeled. I'm trying to read this backwards. Let's see if I can see this backwards. So it kind of peeled off with this. And I can't make out, I'm not even sure it says who, the, who it is, but maybe one of you guys will know. But it was a buck ninety-nine. I thought it was cool. Um, I might still try to sell it for fifteen dollars or so. And then this is the other one that I need help with. I, in my mind, when I was at the thrift store, thought this was a Monchichi because he's kind of like a Monchichi in that he's fuzzy, sucks his thumb, but he's not that dark brown. And also, this one has the eyes that open and close, so maybe it's just like a knockoff Monchichi. But I don't know. And then again, it's not like amazingly. It's like put it on there. Um, is there something else that's like Monchichi? Look at his eyes. They're kind of creepy, aren't they? Boop, boop. Anyway, uh, so I don't know how, now what I'm going to do. $4.99 is what I got him for. I thought, oh, yeah, okay, vintage Monchichi is definitely vintage. Um, I'm at a loss. So this is another spot where I need your help. I have Googled and Googled and searched and I cannot find him at all. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, if you know anything about this guy, otherwise, I don't know, I'll just have to, f I don't know how you can describe something as Monchichi like without saying Monchichi, because it's, I don't know. Anyway, I'll figure it out or you can help me and I'll, either way, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to try to list this guy. I have no idea what I'm going to list it for. So there's that too. Now we did get a few things for us. I'll just share. We got this dream light. Watch, it comes on like so. Oh, we're going to put this in our school room. We got some little Nerf guns in a bag and we got some bubbles because bubbles are always fun. So anyway, that's what I got. Tell me how you think I did and let me know on a couple of those items where I've just hit a brick wall with them. If you don't yet, follow me on Instagram and at Facebook. I have my links down below. And if you need to contact me, please email me. My email is also down in the description box below. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you for coming to hang out. Bye.